So we are going to make uh, a histogram of this data which shows us diastolic blood pressures of 200 individuals in millimeters of mercury. Now the data set is pretty large so it will be good to organize it in a way different than organizing it in the stem plot, in a stem plot rather, okay. So what we are going to do first is, well first we'll arrange them in order, okay. So here I have uh, read it in them in order, okay. And then after that we are going to organize them in disjoint classes, okay. So, so here we have these again, uh, the diastolic blood pressures of uh, 200 individuals in the units of millimeters of mercury and for the classes what we are going to do is that here we are making the classes equally wide. Note that for a, you know for a frequency table or for organizing them in a table we need the classes to be disjoint but if we are going to make a histogram uh, yeah, we have to make them all the classes equally wide and we have to make sure that these are disjoint. So what I'm doing is that I'm indicating here that 50 belongs in this, in this particular class, but 60 doesn't, 60 goes in here. Okay, now we are going to do what? We are going to write the frequencies here and by frequencies we mean the counts. So between 50 and 60 or from 50 to 59 in this case we have only one observation so we will record a frequency of one here and then notice that from 60 to 69 we have 12 observations so we rec recorded a frequency of uh, 12 there okay and then from uh, 70 to 79 uh, if we count and put you know pretend we count it together or just trust me there are 51 of them okay and uh, so what I'm doing is that I finished this counting okay and after we finish them we have to make sure that they do add up to 200 so add all these numbers up and these add up to how much to 100 and you can use your calculator to do that or you know do that just whichever way you please okay so after we have create created this frequency table let's go ahead and uh, you know make uh, axes here so here we have uh, on the horizontal scale the the classes indicated for the diastolic blood pressure and on the vertical scale we have the frequencies and we know that they're ranging from 1 to 70 so i went ahead and made these scales like that okay so first what I will do is for the class 50 to 60 which is this one I'll make a rectangle of uh, a rectangle of altitude 1 okay and then for this class I'll make a rectangle of altitude how much 12 and in this way I'll go ahead and finish this making this histogram okay so this is a way of making this histogram like manually and but most often almost always you will use a computer package to make this histogram so anyways uh, for those of you who had missed how to make a histogram i just gave this illustration all right